Already back? That was a short break, but I'm glad to see you again. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Manjo Bug the Gamer, and you are watching yet another chapter of Detroit Become Human. Accessing the story chart. And for once, I didn't interrupt Chloe when she said that. I'm finally learning. I'm finally learning. Okay, so last episode was a car episode, Zlat, Zlat, Zlatko, Zlatko, <laughs> and it was really good. Um, today's episode is a Connor episode called Russian Roulette. Let's check the flowchart, as we always do. Looks relatively straightforward, and there is only one possible outcome. So let's just go ahead and launch it and see what we can get into with Connor. Uh, let's see, the last time we saw Connor, him and Hank had uh, ch been chasing a lead on an android that was a deviant android and led Connor on a chase and we had to make a choice whether or not to catch the deviant or save Hank. I of course tried to save Hank which I think hindered Connor's um, programming. So I'm not sure how long you can see. He's got software instability. So oh, we're back in this place. I guess we're gonna talk to Amanda. I wonder how this is gonna go. Ooh, I have an umbrella. I'm not using the umbrella, even though I'm getting rained on. Why? Not? You know, last time I went around this way and looked around, well, I guess I should go ahead and look around a little bit more again. Because there was something over here that I have visited last time, but then I didn't really look at anything else. So, let's see what this does this time. That was pretty much what happened last time. Let me go over there. Yeah, I know. I want to find Amanda. I want to find V. It's so pretty here in the Zen Garden. Yeah. Going into that is obviously where I go to see Amanda. But... I want to explore a little bit because I didn't explore this last time. What I'm wondering is if this is actually like a real place or if this is like a created world because it just looks almost too beautiful, doesn't it? Hey, there's somebody here. That's not Amanda. Hello, Amanda. It is Amanda. Hi. Yeah. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Oh, we're going to use the umbrella now. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Oh, yeah. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. There's something I didn't find out. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. 
I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. That, that's it? Yeah, I'm already seeing this. This is what's going to happen is going to be like... Connor's going to have to really basically choose between Hank and Amanda. Who will fuck attack me? Yes, Hank is my friend. I didn't really impress Amanda. So, that kind of sucks. But, I don't Lieutenant regret Anderson. saving Hank. Anybody home? I'm sure Hank's gonna love me just like barging into his house. <laughs> oh, I see his dog. Oh, I forgot his dog's name. No, mm. <laughs> oh, look, it's the St. Bernard. Oh no! Hank! Lieutenant Anderson! What happened? Easy... sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Sumo's cool. <laughs> He's cool with it. What happened? Check on Hank. Yes, let's check on Hank. No. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing with your dog and check on you, Hank. Uh, I think he's just... Traces of alcohol, some scotch whiskey. Some more scotch whiskey. Oh no. Revolver with one bullet. Now I'm starting to see what the Russian roulette meant. Or a slight arrhythmia. No slight trauma. Oh. Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. <laughs> well, that's one way to get I'm him going awake. to sober you up for your own hey! safety. Hey, I have to warn you. Leave me alone, you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on, hey. Hey. Hank, we're gonna Shut <laughs> sober <up>. you. Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> that would be my dogs. Oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> He's a belligerent drunk. What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's for your own good. Well, then we're just taking care of a drunk Hank here. <laughs> ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry I'm laughing at you, What Hank. the fuck are you doing here? The homicide <laughs> so was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. I 
gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, I and I can I focus on my mission. You goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide, what do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report oh says that an android club. may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. All right, Hank. I knew you couldn't resist the lure of the case. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hippie, stripey, or streaky. <laughs> you know what? We are going to go hippie. Because I like hippie clothes. We might be going to a sex club, so... Oh, poor Hank. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> poor Hank. I've already been in here and I don't think there was anything to really see, but well maybe there is. No, I'm just looking out the window. Oh, there's something on the floor here. Time to pull the plug. College ball should varsity athletes accept sponsorship. basically what we're talking about now. They're still talking about it being too phone-centric. Intimate partners, tainted loves. Wow. <laughs> Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't help the the birth rate like at all. But then you can always just make more androids. Should I listen to him? Are you okay, Lieutenant? Oh. He's really not okay, Connor. <laughs> He's just really not. Watching some games. Sumo. What's up, buddy? He's a good dog. Let me pet you. I get to pet the doggo. Always pet the doggo. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's the best boy? I already looked at that. I guess I can't get around there because Sumo is there. <laughs> Anything to look at around here? Doesn't seem like there's anything for me to look at. 
seems like the best way to learn about Hank would be to look around his living room, but maybe... Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Autumn Blues. So he loves the blues. Hank loves jazz. Should, can we put some on? Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Well, we learned one thing. And Sumo likes us. Oh, look at the boy. Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, that was easy. Left for Eden Club. So, what did I learn? I missed a couple of things. I did read Pull the Plug, but there was a couple more things to do, apparently, in his living room. Man, I missed out. Red Tainted Love. Only 53% pet sumo? Come on, people. Come on. <laughs> and there's even a deal for the shirts. 39% chose the hippie shirt. Nice. Distant Attitude. I, I kind of wish I wasn't pragmatic. But, at least it didn't hurt my, my relationship with Hank. Calm Hank's dog. That was him attacking. <laughs> Apparently there's more things to do besides just ring the bell. Huh. Okay, well that was Russian Roulette, and it went pretty well. I didn't impress anybody, but I did <sighs> make Amanda a little unhappy because I didn't catch the Deviant, but I'm much more into keeping Hank happy, to be honest, so it all worked out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.